What makes this partnership work for me is believing in each other. We really did have to go out on a limb and trust each other and trust in the universe because the universe brought us this far. We've been together since 1998. Art has always been an emotional positive thing for me. I grew up surrounded by art. I was extremely shy and extremely poor. So I would always join in my room in private. So I started drawing on my walls. She had such a, uh... Uh, a gift for putting things together like a room. Uh, she could just come in and just redo it and it wouldn't look like the same room. So I, I remember saying, well, you know what? We could probably start a business. Trunk is a collaboration with local artists, giving them a place to show their work. It could be art on the wall, it could be jewelry, handbags, anything made by hand. We're trying to give local artists somewhere other than Instagram or social media to show their talent. We want to be seen as an important collaborator to the arts and culture community. I'm more of the when stuff has to go out. I'm like the editor, but mostly, I'm gonna tell you, Dorothea runs the, uh, runs the store. Dagmar, in a business sense, would really not want to know much about the details. She likes the fluff. All the fluff is fun. Little details, just, I, I, we, don't want, we don't want to talk about that right now. That's Dagmar in, the, in a nutshell. Thank you for describing me the way you did. <laughs> it's true. You're fired. <laughs> anyway. What Trunk considers art is anyone who makes anything with their hands. We get most of our artists, our artisans, from customers that come in the store. When people come in here and they enjoy themselves, I always end up talking to them and I find out what they do. And if it's compatible, they end up in here. Being an artist is a totally uphill battle. You have to find someone who appreciates your work. You have to be able to put it somewhere. And it's very difficult to get inside of an art gallery because if you're not known, a gallery doesn't want to take you. Artists like me seem to be always emerging. We never seem to be here, all right? I'm still emerging as far as I'm concerned. I'm a mixed media artist. Whether in ceramics and clay, making jewelry, anything I can handle with my hand. We're having an event with one of our consignment people. Anyone who wants to come in and meet Leroy Johnson will get that opportunity. He's usually in paid places where you have to pay to get in. Stores like hers are great because Ikea, Ikea is not going to pick me up or some other craftsperson. What inspired me about Leroy is his age. He's actually, for one thing, older than me. That's the first thing. But then he's also just like me. <laughs> he's not a senior citizen. He is a older person that's got as much energy as anyone else and extremely talented. This is a late time in life to be embarking on a new business. When I got in here and I tried, started hanging lights and I was like, what are you doing at age 63? Are you mad? But I kept moving forward. If we didn't open now, when would we do it? We've been talking about this for like 15 years. It's our retirement. This is something that we're going to do and we're going to have fun in retirement. 